What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Tuesday evening, and like I said, I told you guys I was going to be filming more videos, but unfortunately, you know, my new laptop I got was having a couple of technical difficulties and went and called back to place. Turns out it, uh, Google uh, Chrome seems to not like my computer, but that's okay. I'm going to dual boot it with Linux. That's not the reason why I'm making this video. Reason why I'm making this video is for Mr. Frank Tofano. Nigga, have you lost your goddamn mind? And I'm gonna explain the situation. You know, Frank recently filmed this video or a series of videos about him getting ripped off from China. Said he was gonna make some racist comments there. Like you're gonna do that. You go and do that, you're gonna automatically lose your business here. But here's my question. Why the fuck are you going and buying shit from China as far as supplements are concerned? You know, you already spend so much money buying shit from the Amish, and I'm going to touch base on that later. But you, and the name of your products is Frankie's Natural, and rather than using an American company, you're going to go run out to China and try to get the cheapest shit ever. Of course you're going to get ripped off. You know, of course you're going to get ripped off. You know, you're lucky that it was obviously garbage there because a lot of times some of that stuff that comes from China, you're not going to be able to tell what the hell it is. You know, uh, emu oil, and which is what he was trying to buy. Emu oil is basically almost the same color as uh, synthetic motor oil, basically, you know, in certain cases. So why in the world would you go and buy something that you have no idea. You got you actually got lucky because it was clear that that stuff was an emu oil and it was obviously something else. I don't know. It, it you know, I, I think it, you know, I'm not sure what the stuff is. It looked like something that I would redo my bathrooms with as far as tile is concerned, but that's not my point. What the fuck is wrong with you trying to sell people that shit? And then you go and tell people that on YouTube. Are you out your mind, nigga? Never, don't discuss your fucking business here. If you get ripped off, and believe me, I've gotten ripped off there. Don't go and tell people that there. Because here's what people think about you now, motherfucker. They think that you're being honest that you got ripped off because you was going to attempt to rip them off there as well. Even if you got legitimate stuff, how do you think your fans would actually feel and your customers would feel if they knew that... Your product, Frenchies Natural, came from fucking China. The same place as far as Wuhan is concerned. The same place where uh, the cornea virus came from. Nigga, have you lost your goddamn mind? And that's not even that's not even the worst part about it there, neither. That's not even the fucking worst part. Let's say they actually sent you some emu oil, some real emu oil. Let's say that it was slightly adulterated. Let's say that a customer took your emu product and got themselves sick. You would have been sued for it. And I'm not talking about these little $10,000 suits. I'm talking about something from the FDA. They will come down there and cram a 10-inch dildo up your ass. You yeah, go and talk to the judge. What are you going to tell the judge when they go and ask you questions? I'm like, I got a certificate of analysis from China. And they'll laugh you out of court there, basically. And then you talk about broke. Heck, you ever seen the movie Trading Places there? You remember what happened to Randolph and them, right? They ended up homeless and shit. Fortunately, Eddie Murphy went and helped them out by giving them another little bit of cash and coming to America. By the way, when coming to America 2 comes, y'all better be sure to watch it, but I'm getting off subject here. But, you know, you're going to end up like them boys from Trading Places. There. You're going to end up like Randolph and Mortimer, all broken shit. You're going to be living out there you're gonna be cooking from a you're gonna be cooking your food from a fucking trash can you know and stuff you better quit playing around there you know seriously and then you go and complain about the amish do you know why stuff is expensive from the amish because it's the fucking amish it's no different than buying air jordans you are not paying just for the product you're paying for the name amish do you not understand that Think, McFly, think. I mean, seriously. If you have a problem with what the Amish charges, here's one thing. Simply adjust your prices up 
in order to compensate for what you are spending in order to get product from the Amish, either that or get similar product of similar quality from another supplier. It's economics there, boy. You understand? That's what's wrong with you kids these days. You think you know fucking everything. You up here, and look at some of your videos, basically. Spend an hour up there talking about how minerals get into your body. Who gives a fuck? All that stuff you're talking about is the same shit that I discussed 20 years ago. The same shit Ron Harris discussed 20 years ago. Same shit that Will Brink has talked about years ago. The same thing Paul Becker talked about 20 years ago. You know, you act as though this is brand new information. Who cares? Swallow a fucking multivitamin and shut the fuck up. That's what I tell everybody. You want vitamins in your body? Swallow a multivitamin. Shut the fuck up. Go on about your damn business here. You think you're smarter than everyone else. You vegan gains and all these other motherfuckers out up there on YouTube. You know what I mean? You act as though there was just YouTube and there was nothing. Heck, I come from, I don't just come from the internet. I come from the freaking bulletin board systems back in the mid 90s. We was discussing this stuff already. We was talking about it, except it wasn't on video. We used to write what's called articles and ebooks, you know, ebooks. So you're not doing anything special. Everything that you're talking about is the same stuff that has already been discussed, that's already been written. People already know the stuff. The thing that you need to concentrate on is simply selling. Hey, I sell a multivitamin. You need a multivitamin for your body. Well, how does it get in? Simple. Swallow the motherfucker. Drink some water with it or some Tangerade or something. You know, drink some OE or something. You know, it doesn't make a difference. The pill needs to go down your esophagus and hit the belly. Get in my belly, you understand? It's very simple. You don't need to go and spend an hour up there trying to explain to people how minerals get in the body. Who cares? Nobody is not a fucking road Scholar. I don't remember you graduating from Coolodge or anything like that. I graduated from Coolodge, not college, Coolodge, you know, because I like mixing my words, basically. Neither is Vegan Gaines. The only thing he has is a personal trainer certificate. And so coming from a collegiate person, I'm going to tell you straight up, don't worry about how vitamins get into your body. And that goes for any of the other people up there discussing stuff that's already been discussed, that's been written on. What you need to concentrate on is actually doing good business and buying from America. And that goes for all you other motherfucking supplement companies who think that they can go and get cheap shit from China or any other country, Indonesia and stuff like that. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with every other of these niggas up there trying to sell stuff, you know? Buy American, okay? America first. Buy fucking American. Stop going to China or the cheapest place you could possibly buy. Why in the world, would, why won't you buy from America? All right, you already buy from the Amish. Get your stuff from a distributor in America. That way there's checks and balances. You have a certificate of analysis. I mean, seriously, you know? And I tried to cut you some slack, but I think he was, you know, uh... I think he was trying to play me as far as those radio interviews are concerned, saying, oh, Mr. Vince Goodrum, I want to interview you. I want you to go and discuss anabolic steroids and stuff. You up there trying to keep me off your fucking back because of that. You, you think I didn't see through that? You know what I'm saying? I'm not John Cena. You know what I mean? You can't see me. I can see your motherfucking ass. You better straighten up, Frank Tefano. You're going to get a 10-inch dildo up your ass from the Food and Drug Administration up there trying to sell shit from China. Straighten up, you motherfucker, you.